This video is only one part of an in-depth review, so check out the rest at thegoodride.com. Thanks for watching. Here we are reviewing the Arbor Wasteland. Like our souls, unforgiving, stiff, and a dearth of life and warmth. I'm uncomfortable now. We rode this um, with our uh, Union Stratas, our uh, Adidas Tactical ADVs. And to give you a short summary, take the Arbor System Camber. The Wasteland is a board that's been around in their line for a long time. It kind of disappeared for a little while. It's, it's there in continuous rocker. This is full on, full camber with the grip tech on the sides, but none of the lifted sides Fenders. in the tip and tail. Uh, no fender uprise, and so it is an aggressive, technical, catchy, but very poppy, dynamic, carvy, mountain freestyle board for those who just want full camber and want a little extra edge hold than the old days. Yeah. Oh. And sizing wise, felt right for me. This 58 felt good. Size. I could even, because I would never take this out in powder, I could even go down a size and play around with that just to have more control yeah put some weight into it as far as the shape goes it's a directional twin i think the nose is a little longer than the tail it's got a centered stance and the camber profile like we talked about is just unfor technical locked in just i did not want to play around too much with this board uh i didn't want to try anything i'm not you know 100 percent sure i can land or do I was messing around on this board, but let me tell you, it put me like kind of in my like A game phase where I wasn't I wasn't messing around in like a in like a in a loose mindset by any means. Yeah, I was I was on edge the entire time. Advanced expert, I'd say mainly expert. It's, I'd uh, say expert for sure. Yeah, feels fully locked in. Take the most stiff, aggressive board in Arbor's line, like maybe the A-frame. I felt the A-frame was more forgiving than this. Because of the uprise fenders, it just yeah. skidded turns easier. This just is locked in and aggressive, but it it's old school camber. It's consistent in all conditions. You just always know what you got underfoot, except for powder. Then you know you've got a cartwheeler. Yeah, but that's another story. This thing is like a, a UV light, and you'll see scorpions. <laughs> you wanna you wanna give it a flex? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sweet Lord. For directional twins, super stiff. For directional twins, it's peaking in that yeah. category. Might yeah. be tough. Might it's be got, it's got a list. free ride flex to it in, a, in the shape of a twin. The pop is more accessible than I thought. Um, I could not butter it very well. Took lots of effort. But the pop was more accessible than I thought it would be for what this flex is. Um, but it's still by no means... It's not an like, easily accessible pop. Yeah. But it's definitely there. It's definitely deep, deep down in the <laughs> wasteland of its soul. If you dig <laughs> deep enough, you will find water. <laughs> and speed. This is a fast, damp ride. It's got pop. It's not dead. But if you want to point it, go for it. You're fine. You're going to be okay. Uh, maybe not. You might be in the hospital when you wake up. But it's yeah. going to go really fast before you're there. The base glide is good, but not amazing. It just kind of... You know, middle, upper, middle. Uneven terrain. It's not like the Annex or the A-frame in that kind of flex aspect. Yeah. Um, but it really does handle and absorb um, stuff. It didn't pass anything that we were experiencing up into your joints like some boards can. Like an al dente noodle. <laughs> <laughs> and edge hold. This thing grips hard. Um, it does. It grips harder than the, the other system cambers because you get four contact points, basically, the tip and tail and that grip tech in the middle um, when it's weighted down and, and that edge is really engaged. And, and you can feel it gripping a little bit, almost just being a touch, just a ever so slight touch being grabby, but still not anywhere near as grabby as like full mag or anything like that. But, yeah. but <clears throat> let's say you're riding in that like hard bordering on icy snow a lot. Um, this could be a good call for you, like an East Coast rider who likes to go out when the conditions are better but still wants that grip. Uh, this could be a good call there. <clears throat> you definitely feel the grip tech 
uh, definitely switching the day I rode this, switching between this board and other boards. And we rode it, and it was pretty, it was like, actually, it was great firm. snow. We had a couple days on this, yeah. yeah. Um, but every time I switched onto this board, going from other boards that had no disrupted side cut, this thing, you really felt it without it being too grippy. Yeah, and then speaking of that, like grip. taking that edge hold and that full camber, and throwing it into turning and carving, this is a really fun board to turn. It really rails a turn. It, um, it, it, it can just like, it can do all kinds of fun, like short, quick radius turns, then kind of widen it out. And it just feels consistent across the board. Even <clears throat> when you get into those hard camber carves, it turns like a beast in it. It can definitely, it can carve really Carve hard. switch really well too. Yep. I mean, it made me try to work on my switch carving, which I didn't do very good at, but it made me want to do it. Unforgiving though. Yeah. Like Jesus, these double don't. enders, you know? Yeah. Oh, and I uh, know, but don't, don't mess up on this board. And powder, forget about it. I, I don't want to be on this board. I would never touch I've this board ridden, in powder personally. I've ridden boards like this in the, in the O's and, uh, I don't, I don't want to go. No. I'll leave it at home. <laughs> yeah. I mean, leave it in know, the past. I'm not going back. Yeah. Get the annex, uh, yeah. get the, even the cross cut or not Michael just J. Get, Fox. Get, yeah. <laughs> I don't have 2.7 gigawatts. Yeah. And this is the element. This is kind of like a souped up element, you know, next to us. And we kind of forgot to relevant reference that, but even the element camber, I'm not that into either. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather be on something that, um, helps me float a little bit more, but Hey, look, at least if you love camber, you've got seven by two inserts, a little bit longer nose and tail. So you get a decent setback on board for what it is that kind of borders between like that all mountain board that can set it back a little more um, than you could uh, like a true twin. But switch, very doable. Very doable. Uh, very, very but doable. But unforgiving. Unforgiving, just like regular. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it's it's a like it just doesn't almost, have any sort of catch free uh, attitude towards twin. it. Yeah. yeah, but as far as like its ability to ride switch, the yeah. board's ability to ride switch, it's, it's a great yeah. pipe board. Yeah, great pipe board. Um, and a and a pretty good jump board. It approaches jumps really well. I say don't jib with this. <laughs> I wouldn't want to land anywhere I, off my complete Nick did. mark. Nick did, but of course. Well, he's like a freaking. He, he's, he's a ripper jibber. He used to coach, yeah, compete and what yeah. have you. But yeah, but overall, um, you know, Nick thought basically the same as us too. He's like, this is fucking aggressive. And that dude, I mean, I saw that dude just like throw the uh, throw the hovercraft into switch, going forty five miles an hour. I saw him do that with the alloy do carbon. The camber is like this. The cam camber is so big, I had to get a bigger table to do my on the table reviews. That's how much camber there was. It was like yeah. Jaws. It was like, yeah. hey, we need a bigger boat. So there's very few people who yeah. are ripping like that guy. Yeah. So overall, though, get it if you want a, an aggressive twin that can carve regular and switch. You don't want to fuck around with any of this hybrid shit except for a disruption in the side cut, and you just want to. Just want a powerful mountain freestyle ride. For a board that is definitely not bland, the Harbor Wasteland. Got like eight contact and points. The, yeah, well, four contact points per side. Oh yeah. And then, um, cause we're not on a, you can't, you can't bend the board like this. You can. You can reverse taco it. You can tent the just, board. Just squeeze uh, the tongs. Just, he's got really strong arches. <laughs> um, All our reviews are a best effort, objective opinion from an average rider's perspective. There's no brand oversight, and we're free to say whatever we want. We send back everything, unless it's a favorite, then we ask to keep those or straight up buy them. Now, if you need advice, fill out the MeHarmony profile in the Contact Us section of the site. It's the only way I can help you properly. If you want to support us, and if what we reviewed appeals to you, it helps if you buy through our links. So, thanks for watching.